Nemo is in here eating, and here is Hoku, and he's like, Feed me too. Where's my food? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is the Turtle Girl, and today we are tackling the very difficult, complex, and important subject of food and of feeding your turtle. So this is going to be the first of many videos that I will be doing about this subject. And this video is just gonna be a general go over of all of the guidelines that you should be following when feeding your turtle, like how you would feed him, when, where, why, and how you would do it. You know, all those things that you learn in grammar school. With that being said, let's just hop right into this. So, feeding obviously is very important for your turtle. It is where he gets his nutrients, it is how he survives, and how he provides energy for himself. The first question we're gonna answer is, what do you feed your turtle? So, preferably, you will have a variety of foods that you can feed your turtle. So you will have what's called your staple pellet, and this is the main one you feed. This is 75% of what he's eating, or 70% of what he's eating. So, usually, your staple food will be some form of commercially formulated turtle pellet. So, the brands that I use, and by the way, this is not an ad, is Zoomed Turtle Food is a brand that I like, as well as Missouri turtle food and another common one that I don't really use I just have it because I had it laying around um, but Reptumin is another common one it's not as the ingredients are not as good supposedly as the other ones but that is what I have for different types and then usually you will have some sort of supplementary pellets so that you could have a variety and that makes sure that your turtle is getting all the nutrients it needs because although Zoomed growth formula might not have all of like say the calcium that the turtle needs if you supplement it with another pellet say reptamin if you feed both of those you should probably have all your bases covered so for me i actually have three or four different types of food that i feed to my turtles and this variety makes sure that they are getting the nutrients that they need and so usually on a daily basis i'll feed them two or even three different types of pellets then you will also have supplementary pellets that will you only use a certain time. So for instance, when your turtle is shedding, a good supplementary pellet is Hikari Koi Wheat Germ because this has some certain vitamins that helps them shed, which I've talked about before. Another thing that you will feed your turtle is treats. So this can be freeze-dried shrimp, this can be snails, this can be live fish or other types of treats for your turtle, and these should be given on a less regular basis as your main foods. All right guys, so I totally forgot to talk about feeding your turtles vegetables, which is really dumb because it's actually super important and it's a really great thing for turtles. So some turtles are more herbivores than others. Some prefer to have more vegetables in their diet. So for instance, sliders and painted turtles will tend to eat more vegetables than say a map turtle or a diamondback turpin or a musk turtle. But you can offer all turtles vegetables. They can have as many as they want, at least the, kind, the safe kinds of vegetables. And you will just take whatever vegetable you're feeding and you will let it float in the tank no more than 24 hours or less unless you want rotting vegetables in the tank, which isn't that good. But some safe um, vegetables that you can feed your turtle um, whenever you want, however much they want, is romaine lettuce, colored greens and there are several other good ones um, I'm not gonna list them all I will have a link in the description to safe vegetables don't feed things like kale or spinach because these actually have an acid in them that can bind calcium but yeah vegetables are a really great thing to offer to your turtle uh, sorry I forgot about talking about that let's go back to the video so now let's move on to how much you would feed your turtle so the general guideline is you should feed your turtle as much as would fill his head if hollow so if you imagine you have your turtle, and there's his little head, it's about this big. If you imagine that you had a container the size of his head, you would fill that container to the top with food. So say my turtle's head, although this is probably unrealistic, it's way too big, but say my turtle's head was this big, then I would give him as much pellets as would fill this container up. And the reason for this, instead of using like however much he can eat in 15 minutes, or feed him a tablespoon a day is because this way it accommodates for just the general needs of each turtle because if you feed a very hungry turtle as much as he will eat in 15 minutes that can be a lot of food whereas if you just consistently give him as much as his head is and this also changes with how big the turtle is so this also accounts for the size of the turtle um, 
then it's just a really hard and solid way that you can determine how much you need to feed your turtle. And I will talk about all of this more in other videos and go more in depth with this, but that is just the basic guideline. And how often you should feed is for baby turtles, you usually want to feed them the amount that fills their head, if hollow, once a day. For juveniles, feed them every other day. And for adults, every two to three days. And this is because as the turtle gets older, they do not need as much food to keep them growing and to give them as much energy because baby turtles are putting all that energy into growing. So that is how often you should be feeding them. The next thing is how do I actually feed my turtle? Like how do I give him his food? And how does he eat it? And that type of stuff. So first of all, know that aquatic turtles, they need water to swallow their food. So if you put it, your, their food up in the basking area, they can't actually eat it until that food is in the water. There are two ways of feeding your turtles. So the first method is what's called feeding inside the tank. So this is just like it sounds. So you already have his portion of how much food he's gonna eat for that day. You will take four or five of those pellets, put those inside the tank, let the turtle eat those, add the rest of the pellets until all the pellets are gone. And this ensures that your turtle doesn't miss any pellets. Cause if you dump in all his food at once, usually he will end up missing pellets and it creates all sorts of um, junk and uneaten food in the, in the water and in the tank and so by feeding it just like little bits at a time it reduces the amount of pellets that he doesn't find. The other way of doing it is the and then this is the way I do it is you actually remove the turtle from his tank and you put him in a separate container. So what this does is even though it might stress the turtle out a little bit and the turtle has to get some time when you first get him to get used to eating in a separate container is that when your turtle eats in here he can go poop in here and he eats in there and all of the uneaten food that he doesn't eat or all the just little bits that he can't actually eat they go and they stay in this little bin and this is just a little like six quart shoe box plastic bin so you fill this with water you put your turtle in it you feed him in little portions and he eats and then you can just put the turtle back in the tank and empty all that dirty water and so that is how you would actually feed your turtle. So I hope this video helped you. Give it a thumbs up if it did. Don't forget to subscribe. And I do videos every Friday about turtle care and turtle everything and also fish and other animals. So that's super cool. So if you like that type of thing, feel free to hit this button right here. And I will see you guys next Friday. Have a turtly awesome day. Bye.